Come ride with us. And action. Y'all know who it is. T with the Arizona Riders Club. Hit that subscribe button. So guys, we are here at NV Beach. I'm a little disappointed because today, two of the beaches are closed and uh, they're doing some repainting, things like that. I just came over from VIP, walked over from the Lifestyles. Now we are at the NV Beach, hanging out and Deja Vu is closed. I don't know if you guys can see the action going on over there. They're uh, renovating some stuff, bringing in new pillows, new beds and things like that. So cool part is they'll be open tomorrow. So I'll come back tomorrow, let you guys know what's going on. Check this out. Yin Yang Spas, right here on the beach. I mean, you gotta admit, man, to be here feeling this breeze, getting rubbed down with a nice massage, oh, that would be magnificent. Unfortunately, I am not going to be getting a massage today, but we're gonna keep the options open, right? So, um, let's give you a little pan around. So it's basically a whole coastline that goes on for a couple miles, a couple kilometers, whatever you want to call it, right? So you walk to one section, it will have a certain type of food. You walk to another section, it's going to have a certain type of food. And as you continue down the beach, it gets more prestigious, right? It gets more luxury. And uh, I didn't even realize that because I was all the way down there, as you could see that would be lifestyle. So, you know, their options, their drinks, um, their accommodations are all different. But as you continue to come up the beach this way, it gets better and better, guys. Now, this section right here is the last beach that I actually have access to. The chairman's circle is right next door and we've already had a conversation about that. We all know T's gonna be in that chairman's circle at some point in time, right? Absolutely. Thank you for agreeing with me, fam. So, outside of that, you come down here, the chairman's circle, you have Deja Vu, which I would say is probably going to be the second best beach. However, I'm looking at the chairman's circle, and it seems to be that there's a beach between Deja Vu and the chairman's circle. So, there's a possibility that we have access to that one as well. So, we'll, um, we'll definitely uh, go down here to the beach, walk up there, and find out if we have access. Um, I don't want to get it on camera, guys. You know, I don't want to get embarrassed if they turn me away and tell me, hey, T, you're a brokey, okay? I'm just joking with you guys. You know what they say, closed mouths don't get fed. So let's pan around over here. So tranquility, peacefulness. There's just a vibe that is unrivaled right here, man. You have the beds. You've got the beach. You've got the day beds. You've got the... the I don't know, quadruple king beds that have the cabanas on them. And then right back there, all the way to the end, you have a cabana where you can get your drinks, your food. Now, again, remember the accommodations here, guys. They're going to bring this right up to you. So you really don't have to leave your seat. That's why I'm trying to tell you guys about the benefits of this location. You definitely have to come check me out. It is so tranquil here, so peaceful. I mean, look, all right, nomad lifestyle, right? You get your laptop. You come out here, you get some work done, and then you play. Ain't that right? Absolutely. Hold on, let me let me uh, refresh myself. Ah, yes, my uh, my throat was parched, so I needed a beverage. So just to kind of span back there, I don't want to get too crazy. You know, some people don't like to be videoed, so I'm gonna keep it on the up and up. But at the same point in time, guys. You come out here, you relax, you come see me, come out here and check it out, man. It has been nothing but fun. It has been a magnificent time. You can go out and see the city. Um, my wife was telling me that they have a, a, a plethora of options, whether it be from uh, multiple Italian restaurants that just opened up to oxtail, southern, barbecue. Uh, I mean, everything. There's pretty much everything. Seafood, obviously, right? Um, and, and, you know, the, the local Dominican cuisine, you know, obviously if you come out to a country, you want to try out the local cuisine there. So 
Um, I hope the audio is all right. I haven't listened to any of these so far. I probably should have just to make sure that that audio was decent. But um, I did bring a microphone just in case I needed to ratchet it up a little bit. You know what I mean? All right. So, yeah, people just going in at it. Ain't that the truth. Y'all know I grind. Getting it from the mud. Having a conversation over here. Check it out. Check it out. Got some conversations going on. Everybody peaceful, having a good time. Check that out. So, as usual, oh wait, hold on, how long is this video so far? I cannot see. Five minutes, eight minutes. Damn it. Okay, I'm not even quite sure. Take off my uh, case. Oh, so hot. I still can't see. Oh, six minutes. All right, I got to keep gabbing with you guys, man. Um, so, a little bit about the history of the location. From what I hear, it's been around for quite some time. They are renovating some of the property. Some of the royal... Uh, what is it? The Royal Villas? Yeah, I, I believe it's Royal Villas have been updated within the last six months. They do have uh, the Crown Suites, or I'm sorry, the Crown Villas that are anywhere from 13 to 8 years old. Uh, three bedroom, four bedroom, five bedrooms. But the Royal Suites and the Cliff Villas are definitely where they're at. It's the uh, creme de la creme. You know, if you really want to ball out, come out here and enjoy yourself, you've got a little money stashed away. You definitely want to look towards the Crown Villa or the Royal Villas. Those are going to be probably the most modern as well as the nicest in my opinion. So, um, everyone's out here having a good time, man. I'm about to get into this ocean in a quick second, man. I just wanted to come out here, show you guys this last beach that I've been trying to, trying to hit up for the last uh, couple days. Um, you know how it is, man. I'm, I'm not a videographer, to be honest with you. I just do this YouTube for marketing a little bit of advertising situation so you know it's hard for me to put my drink down and pick a camera up you know what I mean obviously I'm not a uh, even though I'm very photogenic as you know um, I just you know it's, it's hard to just always have that mentality to get a good shot to get a good video pick up the camera every time uh, a situation occurs so um, but I'm trying you know we're new with this I've, I've upgraded to the 4k next not next month, but uh, by the end of the year, I'll probably get a new camera, something a little bit better that has some uh, motion stabilization and stuff like that. Get the drone, specifically if I'm doing a lot of travel stuff, you know what I mean? Because that I was, uh, I was at, uh, I think it was VIP Beach yesterday, and this guy had this monster drone um, flying it all around, scaring people. It was hilarious. But um, I do like a lot of the video that we get where... Um, the drone, you get the aerial footage, and uh, the drone is up there, you know, you kind of time lapse it or whatever. Oh, check that out. Got a couple, what are they, seagulls or hawks? I don't know. But I'm sure they're enjoying life like I'm enjoying life right now, guys. Like you should be enjoying life. Again, we've got Ocean World over there, which is their version of Sea World. You can come out here and swim with dolphins, sharks, and, you know, all kinds of other sea animals. Um, they've got food, they've got activities, so you can come out and do that if you have children with you. But if it's just, you know, bachelor, bachelorette, you can come out here. There's certain areas where it's adult only, which um, I ran into a situation yesterday where we went to a pool that was um, family oriented. Well, I had my family with me too, but, you know, no one was under 18 years old. 
So it was a little bit of a, a, a shock because, you know, you had all these kids running around. It was crazy. You know, nothing against that, especially if you want to bring your family out here and enjoy yourself. Bring them out here, man. You know, that's what we do. But um, again, it's got a little bit of something for everybody, guys. So if you want to come out here, you want to enjoy yourself, hit me up. ArizonaWritersClub.com or ArizonaWritersClub at gmail.com for the email. You can hit me up. We can have a conversation. I can let you know what type of packages we offer. I can also let you know when the best time to come out here is, what the prices are like, everything like that. You tell me what you need and I'll get it done for you. So, I just wanted to hit you guys up with some travel information because we all know that I've been talking big stuff about me getting into the real estate game and the travel game. So now that we're in the travel game, I had to come out here again just to make sure everything was on the up and up to find out what type of service there was for our guests uh, because we did bring some guests with us and um, to find out the accommodations of what it's like and the interactions because this is only my third time here and I've never brought a guest before so I wanted to find out you know 